Okay, so I do want to show you a couple versions of uh, things we've worked on. Um, I'm going to send you this file. This was the one I made. Um, oops. Uh, this shows all my different layers, and that's kind of what I wanted to show you. For some reason, because I did mine on a newer version, it doesn't show you all my layers. So there, this one is fairly simple um, based on the other one that we're going to take a look at. Uh, but what you can do with this one, and I'm going to send you this file so you can kind of play around with it, you can kind of get a sense of how this is designed. So if you do not name things properly, it will destroy you. Okay? So... Um, these are just kind of the computers. I started doing the background but decided I didn't really need to do it. Uh, but if you go through here, essentially what you're going to do at the end is turn off this image and you'll be left with your cartoon drawing. But watch as I start to um, pull down some of these images. Okay, so you can see I have like just a, a base layer of brown. You know what, I'll start from the top. So with my blacks layer, you can see those are all kind of my black highlights. That's kind of the first step as you go through is you're going to draw all the outlines. Okay. And I kind of got a little loopy when I was um, naming some of my layers. Okay. Those are just light browns, browns. Uh, this was the teeth, blacks. And it starts to look really weird as you're starting to pull this. There goes our eyes. I merged a few together. So this one isn't perfect. Yeah, it's going to look even crazier. Okay, there's the lips. There's like six layers of lips. And here's the neck. I merged all the neck together. Again, um, I messed this up a little bit from what you guys are doing. Uh, just because I started merging layers. But you can start to see kind of how the face is built up with one big base layer. And that's all the skin layer. And then that's all the hat. Okay, so if we go to just my blacks layer, you should kind of get a sense of what it, the image will look like, just like this. So that's the first step. Although I have a few little color layers in there, um, it should kind of be like a highlight outline layer. The one thing you want to avoid is, that I've seen people do is, uh, for example, all of these little lines, people think, oh, I need to, like all these little lines, I have to do those in black. But if you look at it, it's not black at all. It's just different shades of skin tone. So the blacks that I put in, like I put in like one little black line here, uh, a couple like in the hole of the mouth here, uh, eyebrows, hat, just so you can kind of get a sense of what the image looks like. So this is essentially the first um, part of the assignment. So I'm gonna, like I said, I converted this one to Photoshop just so I could send it to you so that you can see my layers. But I'm going to show you kind of one of my favorite examples that's come out of the class. Um, this one, uh, Michael Kierluck, who's no longer here, she's at Tommy, did this one. And uh, I basically said I will give you 100% on this if you attempt it. So uh, the picture is, I think, Chelsea Cusick. And uh, so what we did is we found, we had a really cool picture of her. And I'm like, why don't we turn this into a zombie? So what we did is we Googled a whole bunch of like zombie pictures. And then we kind of like cut up zombie pictures and like started putting it on her picture. So like half that face, like where it's all cut up, that's actually from a different picture. We just kind of resized it and put it over top of the image. Um, the like the bloody handprint and the gashes and stuff. We just found those and we like Photoshopped those onto the image. And that way we were able to use them. Uh, but you can tell that this one has an insane amount of detail. She was here two hours a day for two months doing this. Um, so basically with, with her attempting this, like it had never been done before and she wanted to do it. So I, we basically wrote off a few of her last assignments because obviously this one is like way bigger than any one I could have expected. Um, but what I really want you to take a look at is her layer structure. One thing you'll notice right away, obviously tons and tons of layers. Uh, they're all named fairly well. Okay, everything from like zombie colors, shirt, cut, rips, uh, different cuts, all the way up to your blacks. And you'll also notice the locks. Okay, 
this is one of the best things you can like start getting into when you're working on your assignment lock any layer you're not working on okay that's so important because as this gets more and more involved it gets super complicated and sometimes you're gonna make a mistake and if you put something on the wrong layer it's just not gonna work properly and you're not gonna be happy with it so I'm just gonna start pulling the eyeballs off this one and let's see what it does to the image obviously there's a lot but you can see a lot of these are just kinda highlights like she did the hair last and that looks really weird and then we're into the complicated handprint but just look how many layers are in that handprint alone still the handprint fingers so obviously this one is uh, I would say like it's an instant hundred percent right the effort put into this is kind of above what I'm looking for. But I think there's over a hundred layers easily. But you can see how it's just a buildup of different layers, right? You kind of start off with bigger layers at the bottom and then add finer detail layers on top. And for this one, the challenging part was making up the skin tones, right? Because they're all kind of grays as opposed to like actual skin tones. So pretty much any color, like see how this one, it just starts off as a big circle, right? And then we add layers on top. But you can see the head is chunked in one layer and then now we're going into like that was the bite. So yeah, she actually finished the shirt first and added that rip on top. There's details in the shirt. And then we're down to kind of the very basics. Okay, I'm going to stop it there. You can kind of get the sense. Um, again, black zombie, blacks. So your blacks layer there, you should be able to kind of get a sense of where everything is. You can see a lot of the pleats of the shirt, etc. It's just kind of like the highlight. But as compared to the Photoshop version, the one I have, this one, it's uh, nowhere near, I would say when I was done mine, I think I had somewhere like uh, 60 layers in total, where I think Michael had over 125 or 130 in hers. So I'm going to send you all these files just to kind of play around with, just to kind of get a sense of what is going on, what you need in the assignment. I don't necessarily need you to start the Scanner Darkly assignment today. I'm going to kind of go over the very start of it tomorrow. But I just want you to kind of play around with it. Remember, this is not the image that you're going to be using when you actually move it into Illustrator. This is a reference file. So we're using this to kind of find all these lines. Like if I need to find out, hey, where are the, the highlights on her face? Well, I'm going to say this is kind of the same color. This is maybe a bit brighter but you can kind of see all the shadows. Like these are very simplified versions of what we're doing, but it shows us a lot of good shading, like on the shoulder here, things like that. So that's what we're gonna be focusing on. So I'm gonna send you all these files, so make sure you're logged into a computer and uh, we're good.